everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well carrying on this week's ocean themed resin in today's video a little bit of a different intro for you here you're getting a sneak peek of what is to come i'm going to be talking to you about ocean waves and how to create ocean waves this is how i like to do it so remembering that everyone's different you're going to have preferences and this is just what i like to do so i hope you find the video really helpful let's get started <music> For my ocean, I am going to be using a wooden round as my canvas. This is just plywood left over from my DIY shed build, which I ended up with loads of leftover wood. And I had my friend Dan, who's a local wood turner here. He cut lots of shapes for me, some circles and some surfboards. And yeah, I'm making my way through them eventually. But you can use any canvas you want. I just love resin on wood. It goes on real easy. What you do need to do is prime the wood. You don't want that resin to soak into the fibers and it will warp and distort your wood. So to do this, you can either do two or three coats of acrylic paint or gesso. But what I'm gonna do is put on a nice thick layer of acrylic paint. And I'm going to put the paint on in the order of which I'm gonna be placing the resin, if that makes sense. So I'm going for a purpley pink sunset vibe and I'm just going to put all of my colors down and brush it over the board until the entire board is covered and then I will be happy and hopefully it will just cure the board and give it that base coat sealant. I just added a little bit of darker purple to the top because I do want this to be a dark purple going down into pink ocean. Again, these are just the first steps, but I won't bore you too long. All I'm gonna do now is wait for this base coat to dry, make sure those edges are fully coated in paint, wait for it to dry, and then it's time to resin. So my ocean is going to be multi-layered. You don't have to do that. This is just what I'm going to be doing for the purposes of the video. The bottom layer of resin is going to be completely opaque. So I am using my mica powders from Arteza and I'm just making sure that they are fully stirred into the resin. And really at this point, I'm just using two or three colors for the baseboard. Then I'm gonna add some purple acrylic paint into the pink that you've just seen to create the purple at the top. And that is all I'm doing for the base coat. I want it to be opaque. I want it to be a block color of purple and pink ready for the transparent waves that are gonna go on top. This is the most fun part for me, just getting my hands in there with my gloves on, of course, mixing those together and blending them nicely. So the top is that purple and it gets lighter into the pink down at the bottom. And that is all you have to do for the base coat. Again, this is my preference and there will be plenty of people out here who just prefer to do things their own way. So please, I'm not telling you that you have to do it this way. This is just the way I love to do it. And I could have stopped ages ago here, guys. I just really love, I just really love blending the resin with my hand. So yeah, I do take my time and I do go over it and over it and make sure that those edges are coated as well. You will be getting some drip off with a project like this and I save all of my drip off and yeah so don't worry if you do see drip off it's not going to be wasted for the second layer this is now 24 hours later my base has completely cured so now I'm going in with my very first wave I'm using let's resin alcohol inks you can use anything you wish I just like the transparency so I'm going for a transparent second wave and I'm just mixing up my purple, I'm mixing up my pink, and I also add in a little bit of orange. I'm not sure this made much of a difference in the end product, but I've not done it before, so I figured I would try a little bit of orange and see what results we get. Just giving them a massive mix. If you're using alcohol inks, make sure that you mix them thoroughly so that you don't get any streaky lines and big dollops of ink, if that makes sense. I'm pretty much repeating the process here. I'm just pouring on my first wave so this is technically technically my first wave there's no beach in traditional beach style like there's no not going to be any sand in this project this is just a pink ocean and i'm not using much resin either i really am going minimal i would say maybe 30 grams maybe even 20 grams but you'll see here i'm just adding the purple the pink the orange and i'm only bringing it two thirds of the way down the board. I'm not letting it go any further. That is going to be my wave edge. 
I'm doing the same thing again with my hand. I'm getting stuck in there, getting messy, mixing them together and blending them with my fingers to help them flow. This is where some does go off the edge. Very hard to do ocean waves with resin and not have any go off the edge. So don't worry too much if you do get that spill off. Just definitely keep it for future projects. Had a bit of debris got my lollipop stick in there and I got it out. <laughs> now I did torch it, you would have seen there, I torched out the air bubbles. For my ocean waves, I am using Resinate Cell Creator, I'm using Resinate Opaque White and one drop of alcohol ink. One drop of alcohol ink, one drop of the Cell Creator and I used a good amount, not too much, of that white opaque. I wanted it a nice thick white. Now here's what I do first. I get my torch and I torch along that line. You'll see there, I poured clear, I poured the white and then I torched that line. Now I'm using my heat tool. Now this is linked below. This is a slow output heat tool. It's very, very hot, but the air comes out slowly and I'm going back and forth very, very slowly. This is key slowly does it that is going to create these cells and it gives the cells a chance to actually appear then you can go back over with your torch that will give you more cells and so forth and so on now i'm not here pretending that i am the ocean wave queen i'm really not you've seen my videos guys some days i get it right some days I just don't, it does not go to plan at all. And in fact, I have a video later in the week that um, <laughs> we'll all see together that did not go to plan. But this is my first ocean wave and I love it. Now here you see me doing something that I don't like doing and I've mentioned it before. I'm no good at this at all. So you will see the difference. I don't like mid ocean waves. I've seen people do it and get incredible results. So listen, if you've got any advice for me, please hand it over. I'm more than happy to learn. I'm forever learning. Mid-ocean waves are difficult for me to do. I like edge waves. So you would have seen that first wave was along the edge. This one here still looks like a wave, let's be honest, but I'm not keen. I'm not, I'm not a lover of them. And what I did was poured some of the clear I poured a clear line and then I poured the white straight over the clear. And for me, there's a difference. You'll see that first wave, you'll see that mid-ocean wave. Of course, it looks like ocean waves, but yeah, I'm not a fan. So this is the very next day. We are going for the second layer of waves. How many layers you do is completely up to you. Again, I'm just showing you the method I use. The, the, the method I think gives me the most wave-like results. But I'm just mixing up my resin again, even less this time, because I don't want as much as my first wave. I'm only bringing it maybe halfway down the board. But because I don't like that mid-ocean wave, I'm gonna cover it up, which is the beauty of doing layers. And the beauty of using transparent colors means I get to see it. I still get to see it underneath the next layer but I kind of get I get to cover it up if that makes sense so I'm going in here don't worry about the drips they're easily cleaned up I'm only going halfway down my board so this is my second wave and yeah I'm adding the purple the pink I'm doing exactly the same thing again you can mix it with a stick or get your fingers in there like I really like to do and just blend them together, making sure that they are fully blended and you've got this gorgeous ombre between the purple and the pink. And now it's time for the second ocean wave. So I'm pouring the clear. This is the trick to getting your ocean waves. Pour a clear line along the edge of your wave followed with the white. You wanna go directly over the clear and already just using that torch has created so many cells. I was absolutely in love with these waves. And you know, like I said, some days I get it right, some days I just can't, I just can't do it. It doesn't work for me. We all know that resin does what resin wants, but today was a good day and I figured, yeah, <laughs> why not share it? So here you see me using the heat tool very slowly, very slowly back forth. Do not hold the heat tool 
in one place for too long because your resin will burn it will go yellow at this point i was in absolute love with these you can see the depth here with the top wave crashing over the bottom wave and at one point i thought actually that looks like a pair of lips <laughs> like i don't know like clip art lips right here i I love it. The cells are incredible. I got some amazing results. This is the next day. Fully unexpected. It must have been maybe not quite level and I did not expect that top wave to take over the way it has. So ideally here you see me just peeling the back off. Now listen you guys would have known my best friend got married and these were my nails. I don't know how anyone does anything with long nails. I just don't. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> They're off now. They're off. <laughs> even just peeling the back but what I wanted to say was I didn't expect that top wave to dominate the way it did so ideally I would have gone in with a third wave now I am planning on going in with a third wave it's just I have a little human staying with us at the moment so I can't do any resin while he's in the house but you can see here a third purple wave on top of that will be ideal and I definitely will do it and I will post a video on my Instagram when I can resin again but I hope you found this method and this video really helpful if you are thinking about getting into ocean waves guys some days they work some days they don't and this is just my kind of wave everyone has their own preference so that's what i thought i'd share with you how i do it the recipe for the white waves again is some white opaque one drop of alcohol ink and one drop of cell creator now you don't necessarily need the cell creator i made waves before i even owned it so it's entirely up to you guys how you go about it and I hope you found this really helpful and I absolutely love it. I am going to do a third wave as soon as I can resin again. Um, but yeah, until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.